Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 build video. Just wanted to give a couple quick announcements. First off, credit where credit's due. Just wanted to shout out some of the boys in the Discord. Demonus, uh, Dreload, Puddles, and uh, Habib's Crib. Even though we didn't get to play for very long, you were still there willing to be in the video and play, uh, even though I didn't get you in the footage this time. So hopefully soon, man. Um, really appreciate you guys. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, there's a um, link down below, description below. Please hop in the Discord if you are a fan of Payday 2. Come join our community. We have so much fun. We uh, join all kinds of lobbies together. We talk about Payday 2 builds all the time. So if that's something that interests you, feel free to join. We'll welcome you with open arms. Um, besides that, also wanted to remind you guys that uh, if I can hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022, then I will get a Payday 2 tattoo that will be filmed slash vlogged and posted to the channel, and the tattoo will be voted on by you. So, if you're interested in the Discord, if you're interested in seeing me and Payne getting a tattoo, subscribe and join the Discord. I really look forward to seeing you guys, and I really look forward to talking to you guys in the comments. If you have any suggestions for this Hitman build, feel free to leave it down in the comments below, and I'll definitely check it out. See you in the video, guys. Peace out. How's it going, folks? My name is Nick, and welcome back to another Payday 2 build video. Today is our uh, fifth episode of the perk deck series, where we are going through every perk deck in Payday 2, reviewing them, and trying to create a build that would be able to survive on Death Sentence 1 down to the best of our ability. And today, we've got kind of a toughie. So today, we're going over the Hitman perk deck. So let's go ahead and take a look at the overview of the build. Then we'll take a look at skills that I'd be using, the perk deck itself, weapons, and some gameplay to top it off. To start off the overview of the build, let's take a look at some armor. We're going to be using the lightweight ballistic vest, and I'm sure when we go through our skills and when you watch the gameplay, you'll kind of understand why I went this route. We have the Crime Lord suit on to kind of match the Hitman aesthetic, as well as the collateral mask. Just thought it looked cool. First aid kit for the equipment, the Akimbo CR-805B submachine guns. Akimbo, of course. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah. Miyaka 10 special submachine gun for the secondary, and I'll go into kind of my reasoning on that when we actually take a look at the weapons. The Molotov cocktail for the throwable. I'm using the buzzer for the melee. Kind of decided to switch it up. Virtually the same effect as the uh, electrified brass knuckles. I forget what they're called right now. Skills we'll look at here in a second, but as you can see, the majority are in Mastermind and Enforcer with a little bit in Ghost and Fugitive and the Hitman perk deck, of course. So let's go ahead and take a look at some skills. Before I get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Puddles or Embers in the YouTube comments uh, for kind of helping me get this build into a uh, working order, I guess. Um, <laughs> if you haven't joined the Discord already, there's a link below. Um, go ahead and join us down there and we have all kinds of crazy fun in the discord and people giving advice for builds and uh, Getting in games together. It's just a lot of fun So if you're looking for that kind of community, especially in regards to payday Press the link down below. Come join us. We'll welcome you with open arms So for the mastermind skill tree for the medic side, we've got combat medic basic quick fix basic painkillers ace uppers ace and inspire ace we have Force Friendship Basic, Joker Basic, Confident Ace, Partners in Crime Ace, and Hostage Taker Ace. This is pretty standard if you're running any kind of um, Joker build where you, you want to have Jokers in order to regenerate health. This is what you'd be looking at. Stable Shop Basic is kind of a pickup for stability, especially since, since we're using uh, Akimbo weapons. In the Enforcer Tree, in the tank side, we have Resilience Ace. Die Hard Ace, especially since we're using the Light Ballistic Vest, this is very important that we get that extra armor for Ballistic Vest so that we can tank at least, I think it's an extra shot from a uh, Light Unit on Desod. So, this is the way to go. Shock and Awe Ace and Bullseye Basic, just for help with a little bit of armor regeneration. And Scavenger Basic, of course, because we want to be able to pick up some ammo a little bit faster. Technician, we have Steady Grip, Ace, and Fire Control Basic to help with accuracy. Ghost, we have Duck and Cover Basic. Second Wind Basic, this is really nice for Hitman. Uh, second Wind pairs really well because our armor is uh, breaking often, especially on Death Sentence 1 Down. We're going to have Second Wind um, activating 
a lot. And because with Hitman, uh, not to spoil things, I guess, but because with Hitman, we're automatically regenerating, regenerating our armor, excuse me, in 1.5 seconds, no matter what, you're going to be able to be using second wind often. So this is super helpful. Really recommend it for any Hitman build. Optical Illusion's basic, so that we're a little bit less likely to be targeted by enemies. That helps a lot with this kind of build. Uh, Professional Aced, both of our weapons are silenced, so this helps with accuracy and stability. And Low Blow Ace, this allows us, because our concealment is above 5, but still enough to where it's at 25 or below, we have to ace it so we can get those crits. Fugitive, I have Equilibrium Basic, just so we can get to Akimbo Ace. This allows us to have uh, stability reduced, or I guess I should say increased on our Akimbo weapons. Um, and then also have 50% increased ammo capacity on top of what Hitman gives us, which I believe is also 50% ammo capacity increase for Akimbo weapons. And we have Nine Lives Aced, a staple for Desod, especially since with this build, we're gonna be going down often as you'll see in the gameplay. Okay, so let's take a look at Hitman. So the thing to note here with Hitman is all that matters is armor recovery and akimbo weapons. That's all we're looking at. <laughs> so if you like more basic builds, I think you really should try out Hitman. I think uh, it's not good. It's definitely not the best perk deck that you could choose. But if you want something fun, unique, different, I think you should try out Hitman on maybe like Mayhem and Deathwish. When I played Deathwish with Hitman, I felt very comfortable. So I really suggest you at least check it out and try it for yourself. I think you'll have fun with it. So with our first perk for our perk deck, uh, we're going to be having armor recovery rate increased by 5%. I'm not going to go over every perk, but I am going to go over the ones that are unique to Hitman. So uh, next one is Ambidexterity. So we get dual wielded weapons have a uh, minus stability, 16 stability penalty. So we're actually increased, I guess, in stability. I, I don't know how you want to say that. We have better stability. <laughs> Your armor recovery rate increased by an additional 10%, and this is where I think it's pretty crazy. Ammo capacity for your Akimbo weapons are increased by 50%. So we have 50% and a 50% with our skill or with our Akimbo skill and with Amba Dexterity from Hitman. Next one is Advanced Recovery. We get an additional 10% armor recovery rate. Expert Recovery, we get an additional 10% armor recovery rate. And then for Tooth and Claw, we get an additional 10% armor recovery rate. And if our armor is broken, it will recover in 1.5 seconds no matter what the situation. Which is really nice. I, I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal, but once you see how it works when i first started playing i guess in my mind for some reason i was thinking if i lose any armor it will automatically recover 1.5 seconds to matter situation that's not how it works if you lose a little bit of armor then you have an increased armor recovery speed which is still really quick i think it's 40 45 percent something like that but if your armor is broken that second wind pops get behind cover really fast and your armor will be back in 1.5 seconds no matter what so with that in mind, looking at Hitman, let's take a look at some weapons. All right, let's take a look at our primary first. Now, I'm not going to um, kind of go over all of this. If you want to take a look at these yourself, all the stats, then you can pause the video or you can take a look at them while we're going through the attachments. So for my attachments, I'm using the short barrel to help with a little bit of concealment. I'm using the Medved R4 suppressor. If you're not going to use the bigger or uh, the bigger the better suppressor, um, because you're still kind of hurting for detection, and I have it right there at the edge virtually, um, I think the Medved R4 suppressor is really nice. It doesn't take too much damage, and you get a, a uh, increase in accuracy and stability. I have on a concealment boost to help with concealment, no charm, no custom gadget, I have on the compact laser module, and for the magazine I have the speed pull magazine, this really helps with reload time, you get those um, akimbo CRs reloaded really fast, so if you're not going to run speed pull mag, then at least find something that doesn't hurt your concealment, such as maybe the L5 mag that gives us plus 8, but since our magazine is already at 60 sure you you uh, eat through ammo really fast with these but because our reload time is so minimal at this point i really wouldn't suggest any other magazine besides the speed pull mag in my opinion 
All right, our secondary is the Miyaka 10. And uh, same deal, if you want to take a look at stats, go ahead now. For our barrel, I put on the short barrel to help with concealment. Barrel extension, again, is the Medved R4 suppressor. You could go with the bigger the better suppressor to help with accuracy and damage, but I didn't feel like putting it on, and I'm right here at the cusp of the uh, detection risk that would start hurting my uh, crit chance, so I'm pretty happy with where it's at. I have concealment boost on. For our gadget, I have the Medved R4 laser sight. For the grip, I have on the Comfort Wood Grip to help with stability. I have the Speed Mag on now. Um, I really would suggest running the Speed Mag. If you don't, then I'd at least try and find a way to configure your skills to help with SMG reload time. And it's not a lot. You get, I think one of the skills is maybe like 15% or if you get a certain amount of headshots. Or if you get a headshot, then it increases your reload speed by 100%. You're going to want to go with something like that, but it's going to waste a lot of uh, skill points that you kind of need elsewhere. So I'd really suggest going with the speed mag and trying to find space for that concealment. No sight on there to help with concealment, and no stock on there to help with concealment as well. If you can afford the tactical stock, then I'd definitely go for it, but our stability is already pretty decent for an SMG, but it doesn't hurt to add 12 more with our tactical stock, so go for it if you can. Now that we've taken a look at our weapons, let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay and see if I can survive. Oh man, restarting. <laughs> so... We've made it to the yard every time with uh, with Slaughterhouse. Death Sentence 1 down. And we almost make it. Third time's the charm. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Grab the jokers here. Whoops. <laughs> uh, hopefully nobody needed that, but it's fine. Okay. Third time's the charm. Just want to shout out the boys over in the Discord. Demonus, Drayload, Beebs Crib, and uh, Puddles. All for help on this video. Playing with me, helping the uh, experiment. Playing with me now. Obviously, you see Demonus and Drayload playing. Um, and then also Puddles for helping me kind of refine, refine the build. Uh, looking at my build and be like, hey, maybe try these, or try this. It's a big help. Really appreciate you guys. And, um, check out the, uh, the Discord for yourself, man. If you, if you haven't already. Come hang out with us. We're a lot of fun. We're just hanging out, vibing. It's a good time. So first thing off the rip about this build is uh, luckily we have a really good primary. Of course, sometimes at the cost of uh, at the cost of us going down. <laughs> That's not the right way to play. Don't don't do what I do. <laughs> I think a good way, a good mindset to go into when you're playing with this build is that it runs kind of like a dodge build. Um, try and stay in cover. Don't go out too much, you know. Um, except the thing is, you don't have dodge, so you're probably gonna go down if you uh, start getting hit too much. But 
because we have second wind, if you get hit and you lose your armor, um, if you uh, break your armor, get behind cover really quick. Good thing is, we put out a lot of damage really fast, but we do run out of ammo pretty quick. That's probably our glaring fault, besides Hitman being our perk deck. <laughs> but now is the time to try it out. Nope. some kills too. I'm being a lot more careful this time around, but I can't see, but I know we have a room over there, so luckily we have speed mags on, and <laughs> we have a ton of jokers. We have, a, we have speed mags on both of our weapons, so you made a sword. I did. And I'm its wielder. <laughs> I can't spell wield. Bre bre brethren. Bre brethren. Breth I don't know if that's how you spell that. Nope, stay, just, just stay under there. Nice. Drill almost done. get our armor back really fast as soon as it gets broken. Ooh, Demonus, you're in a tough spot, buddy. I made a mistake. I've, I've made a grave error. Thank you, Dre. No. I'm gonna die. No way. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. We're falling apart here. Alright, we, we gotta start taking out some of these enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one is some blood. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, cool. My teammates. Where? At? Okay. In pain. I don't know why I put that down exactly. So you probably can heal a little bit first. I can't see. Oh, 
Oh, see, we're back in assault, so this is probably a terrible idea. I need Joker. Okay. Oh, it's in a different spot for him. Oh, boy. Thank you, uppers. We're going to need to switch to our secondary here to try and start getting some ammo regen. Oh, my. What that's from? Is it from is it from regular show? He'd be dead. Can't see. Okay. Ooh. Demon is speaking my language. It's free. Am I still getting healed? I, I can never tell. Sometimes it's like glitched a little bit and it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I am getting healed. Okay, we're alive, boys. We're making it. Okay, maybe not the greatest idea. I can't believe I'm alive. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? I didn't know he said that. That's so funny. Let's get the gold out here first. We get all the gold in there if we really just need to leave then we can oh the captain now we need to set the trap more gasoline in container 12. that's what we're looking for all right i'm gonna put some oh no it's open from that side too Ooh. 
<laughs> nice spot you've got here, pal. Oh. Where's our buddy? Oh, here he is. Oh, Demonus is over there. <laughs> wow. I was gonna say, no way. I can't. Ow! <laughs> I spoke too soon. Let's get some meds. I have to have gone down like four or six times. Oh my goodness, man. I'm on 69 kills. He's sitting right at it. Oh man, I probably should have saved, I mean, hindsight 2020 probably should have saved some first aid kits for when we're actually running away for just some quick uppers, but, well, you know, here we are. I really need some ammo, but I can't afford to run out there. Yeah, the ammo's back there. Armor recovery is insane with it, man. If I were to give my final thoughts on this build, um, probably I would say that it's not desod viable, but that if you're really feeling risky, you can make it happen. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I I can't get ammo. Ammo's in a terrible spot. I I don't have inspire. We. Oh, we 
just gotta go. We just gotta go. We just gotta go. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm just going to run. Come on in. We're almost finished. Hey. 